Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about immune thrombocytopenic purpura. It is caused by an autoantibodies against the platelets, specifically the glycoprotein 2 and glycoprotein 3. This, of course, destroys the platelets, and the patients sometimes have platelets as low as 100. To compensate, the megakaryocytes that produce platelets will increase in size and start producing defective platelets. We don't know what sets the disease off and why it happens. But we do know some triggers. Some viral infections, like hepatitis C virus and HIV viruses, can trigger this disease. Cancers and some medications can also trigger it. But again, the exact cause is still not clear. A very important note is that this disease does not have splenomegaly. Matter of fact, splenomegaly is part of the exclusion criteria of ITP. So if in the exam everything fits ITP, but you see splenomegaly in the question, think of something else. So to recap, ITP is caused by autoantibodies against the platelets. This destroys the platelets. And if we take a blood sample, we'll only see decreased platelets with everything else is normal. A bone marrow biopsy will see increase the size of megakaryocytes, and there is no splenomegaly. And the treatment is steroids, or better yet, splenectomy. And here's a small quiz. Which type of immunoglobulins causes this autoimmune condition? And the answer is immunoglobin G. Alright guys, that's all I have and thank you so much for watching.